Okay, daycare story. Here we go. Mom talk, mom talk. Sorry, the camera's so shaky. I'm like walking really fast to get there. Hey, Luna. So, I've been on the fence about this daycare thing for so long. Most of my single mom friends, especially the ones that are only parents that are really just doing it alone and in foreign countries, they have to work. So they, their kids go to daycare when they're like three months old and full time. And that's just the way it is. Uh, I am really lucky that I was able to have, I had some savings and I didn't have to work and I'm living in a very cheap country and I didn't have to start working until Luna was four months and luckily I have a deadline driven job where I can work when she's napping and kind of get around it. But Luna is eight months old now and we have no family and we have no friends here and I don't have a lot of help. Uh, she has somebody that comes and helps me around the house twice a week but I feel like she needs to socialize with other children and I need some space. I'm with this beautiful little creature 24 hours a day and I'd like to be able to go to a yoga class or exercise or you know right now I'm getting eight hours to myself a week with a private caregiver and I'm using all of that time to work and I'm not getting any time at all for myself which is also important so Luna starts daycare today uh, we're doing three times a week for four hours. She's going 12, no, 11 to 3, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Uh, I'm hoping that she loves it. I could probably put her in for more, but I decided I wanted to do less because I want her to really love daycare. Um, because the reality is I'm a single parent. She's going to be in full-time daycare soon. As soon as she's done breastfeeding, full-time daycare is coming. Um, yeah, so here we go. It's going to be, I'm really excited actually for it because I found a fantastic daycare called Pasitos Gigantes, which means like little raisins that are big, kind of. By the way, check this in the background, this art. There's so much. I hope you've been noticing that while I walk down the streets. So this is my mom talk, to daycare or not to daycare. What does everybody think? Are your kids in daycare? Were you scared of putting them in daycare? Did you bring them at, you know, three weeks old like French women do? Did you hold off? Did you wait a year? Did you get mat leave? Do you have a partner that actually helps? Not just talks about helping, but actually helps? <laughs> you know, tell me, tell me where you're at. For me, I'm nervous. Part of me feels I waited too long, and part of me feels like it's too early. I guess you can't win when you're mom and but here we go. I fingers crossed she loves her first day. me to check on her an hour in and I did and I didn't hear back so I thought that was great two hours in I get a call your kid won't stop crying come and get her when I get there in the middle of my work day uh, she's sleeping for the first time she's sleeping in a, a car seat <laughs> she's never slept away from my body so kudos to them for getting her to fall asleep but they just said she cried and cried and cried and cried that I told them that she would cry for 10 minutes but it was on and off for two hours so I just said look I can't keep her in daycare because I need to work and I had meetings booked and stuff and I actually had a job interview today that I missed out on the job because I had to leave so I can't do that like if I can't leave her and trust that they can take care of her I can't do it and it's not a judgment on them. Maybe she just hated daycare. Like they were like, look, we got a lot of kids. She's not the only one and I get that. Yeah, so no time for myself and no financially getting ahead and I have to go back to private childcare 
which is not that expensive in Mexico, but it's more expensive than daycare. Daycare costs a week what a day costs with private childcare, which is 20 bucks, but still. If I can't make more money, how am I supposed to pay for it? So there is the rub. Um, we're leaving in two weeks for Canada for a month, and then we're moving, hopefully, more on that later. So I guess this is like a drawback of being a travel mom. You know, if we were staying and she was always gonna have this routine, we could push through the crying and make it happen, but you know, if it's like, what if it takes her a week to acclimate and then, like I can't run off in the middle, I can't take this time and then run off in the middle of it over and over like that. So, you know, it's not worth it for two weeks because I'm gonna uproot her in two whole weeks. So, there goes daycare. I am actually so frustrated and so pissed off that like they couldn't handle it. Uh, and I guess it's because of their system and She's sleeping now and they were like, you said she didn't take a nap. And I'm like, she doesn't normally take a nap by this time. Like she's just so beside herself that she fell asleep. Um, and I, it's the first time that anyone's ever taken her and reported back that they couldn't get her to stop crying. So I think that that is a sign that that is not the place for Luna. So back to the drawing board, please leave your comments. This is just like endlessly frustrating. Not being able to do anything for myself, you know, eight months in. I know lots of moms go longer, but just because they do it doesn't mean it's okay. And I'm just, you know, I was so looking forward to getting like some me time to exercise or do a yoga practice or like listen to loud music and, you know, just be able to do some stuff around the house without a kid. and. You know, I was so looking forward to it and I was so looking forward to getting this job and being able to get ahead financially and I'm just like so pissed. So we're taking kind of the afternoon off. I'm going to go get myself a nice big fat piece of cake or something like that. <laughs> something sugary and chocolatey so that, uh, yeah, so that I can just maybe get through this frustration. Nah. <laughs> Do you remember daycare? Yeah, I found you sleeping two hours ago. You seem happy. Yeah, you're awake and it sucks. Welcome back to the real world. I guess my dreams of daycare are over, huh?